hello beautiful you welcome back again to my page today's recipe i'm going to show you guys how i prepare my tasty delicious carrot stew you don't need any tomato to make the stew okay so first i'll start by seasoning my protein of which i'm using goat meat with onions with garlic and ginger next is going to be black pepper as well as nutmeg powder okay so i'll also add salt to taste just make sure you're not adding too much Add a little bit of thyme to the protein as well as curry powder for a nice aroma, okay? Add one seasoning cube to eat and you want to add some bay leaf, cover this and then you want to steam this for at least 5 minutes. So after 5 minutes, you want to open it and stir through it just like this to enable the seasoning penetrate very well into the meat. Add more water to it and continue cooking until the meat are soft. After about 20 minutes of cooking, you want to open it at this point, it is finally ready. Just go ahead and fry in hot oil, just make sure it's not too dry, okay? So these are all my vegetables which I'm going to use for my stew. First, I'll start by slicing my washed carrot, add the carrot into a pot. Next, I'll add the hot pepper, add onions to eat, I'll add ginger as well as beetroot, okay? So this beetroot will just make the stew very red, there is no need to add tomato paste add the paprika and water to eat cover this and you want to cook this between six to ten minutes until the carrot are soft okay so after cooking just make sure it is cool a little bit before adding it to your blender so with the same water i use in boiling the vegetable i'll add to it and then add the remaining vegetable cover this and then open the lid because it's a little bit still hot yeah i'll go ahead and blend this into a very smooth paste and then set that side so now i'll add the same oil i use in frying my meat into a pot bring to a heat add the sliced onions to eat the fry this for three minutes to infuse into the oil add one seasoning cube and now i'm going to fry this until the seasoning is melted into the oil before adding the blended vegetables into it just like so okay so give it a little bit of stir freeze the blender and then add the water to it because we don't want to waste any of those lovely vegetables okay so after stirring it i'll go ahead and cook this until it is a little bit dry okay so after a few minutes i'll open it just make sure you're careful because it can bubble into your skin yeah and it's hot so bad add curry powder and meat stock to it at this point mix everything together until combine okay so after doing this just go straight ahead to add the fried meat into the stew okay and then mix the meat right into the stew just like that at this point you want to taste it in case you want to add more salt to it yeah so i also added basil leaf which is also called curry leaf to eat and then a little bit of salt okay because it wasn't enough so I just give it a little bit of mustard just like this. Now I'm going to cook this in low heat for 10 minutes. So just make sure the oil is flowing just like this, which indicates the stew is finally ready. I'll give it a final stirring, cover this and then take it off from my cooker, okay? So our carrot stew is finally ready. It came out so yummy, tasty, and delicious. So go ahead and serve this with rice, with boiled yam, or plantain, or whatever. So I ate mine with rice. It's super, super delicious. I hope you give this a try back in your home. Like my video and share to your friends as well. If you're not following my page, follow to see more new recipe from me. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you on my next one. Take care, guys. Bye.